At the beginning of 2015, construction resumed in full swing at all three subway station sites. In Chinatown, station excavation has begun, and construction of the reinforced concrete roof slab has been underway. In Union Square, we've rolled up the green carpet of the 2014 Winter Walk, restored pedestrian safety barriers, and have finished pile drilling work to construct the outer walls of the station. At Geary and Stockton, excavation of the station entrance at Union Square has begun. Live utility lines and pipes have been suspended in a steel truss system spanning the street, while excavation continues below. At Ellis and Stockton, workers have excavated the former Ellis Street entrance to Powell Station and have begun building the roof of the new station concourse there. During excavation, shoring walls originally used to construct Powell Station in the 1960s were uncovered and removed, along with the roof and some bearing walls of the station entrance. Once this concourse is reconstructed, it will become a primary point for customers transferring to Powell BART and Muni trains of the Market Street subway. Once slurry wall construction was completed at the Yerba Buena Moscone station site, work to construct the station roof began north of Clementina Alley. The roof is being constructed in phases, with reinforcing steel being tied into the vertical slurry walls constructed over the last year. Once concrete is poured, waterproofing material is installed, and workers move on to the next section. At the future 4th and Brannan surface station site, work to install foundation piles was finished. South of Brandon, work to reinforce a 78-inch sewer and upgrade other existing utilities is also ongoing. After both tunnel boring machines were removed last year, the retrieval site in North Beach has been demobilized and a cover was constructed over the shaft. During this same time, work to convert the former tunnel boring machine launch box structure on 4th Street under Interstate 80 has been completed. Reinforced concrete walls and a new roof were constructed, along with the ramp leading from the twin tunnel entrances up to 4th and Bryant. New utilities have been installed on top of and to the side of the structure, the remaining site has been backfilled, and a new roadway has been constructed around it. All three lanes of 4th Street south of Harrison have been reopened to traffic, along with a new sidewalk on the west side of 4th. Thank you for watching.